Welcome back to Squawk Box. Earlier this month, the Federal Trade Commission issued a proposal that would ban the use of non-compete agreements in employment contracts. Would killing non-competes usher in more innovation or more theft? John Ford, here to weigh in. What do you think? Well, Andrew, uh, killing non-competes, bad idea. It would tilt the balance of power even further toward labor. At a time when the hiring has been extraordinarily tight, the unemployment rate's 3.5% and wage inflation is pressuring business. Now, first, what is a non-compete agreement? Typically part of an employment contract where workers agree to a waiting period before they can leave one employer, go work for an industry rival in the same region. Those agreements can serve an important role in a knowledge-driven economy. We can understand why companies have to carefully protect their intellectual property. And while it might seem like a good idea to rely on the Trade Secrets Act to just restrict workers from sharing information when they switch to a competitor, those violations are hard to prove and enforce. So for some roles, and in some industries, it just makes sense for there to be some friction that makes the job a bit stickier. Yes, people want to work from home and be flexible, which means these days switching employers could be as easy as switching email addresses. You don't even have to clear your desk. Okay, but just to understand this, is this really about protecting secrets more, do you think? Or is this more about people who don't want an even more competitive labor market, if you know what I mean? Yeah, well, uh, on the other hand, Andrew, uh, non-competes are just a crutch, unnecessary. And you know what proves it? California. Non-competes are unenforceable in California. And if non-competes were so effective, you'd think Silicon Valley companies would be hemorrhaging secrets. And yet Apple manages to design the world's most profit-generating uh, computers and consumer devices there. Somehow employees don't get poached by rivals and leak the blueprints. So at their worst, these non-competes do two things. Prevent price discovery and salaries and stifle innovation. My employer doesn't have to worry about me jumping ship. They can pay me less than I'm worth. And if I can't leave to start my own company in my area of expertise, that's a drag on a potential economic engine. Making things worse, non-competes aren't just for high-paid jobs anymore. Summer camp counselors and youth soccer coaches are being asked to sign them too. According to a report from the Minneapolis Fed released a year and a half ago, 8% of the lowest wage hourly workers are being asked to sign non-competes. And that shouldn't happen in a properly functioning labor market, Andrew. Okay, should the FTC uh, get to decide this on its own? Do you think somebody else should? And let me just throw another one at you. Hmm. Should there be a cutoff in terms of pay? Meaning, this effort is to protect people, I think, on the lower end. I don't know if they're really trying to protect people who are making millions of dollars or whether they should be. Well, what this study from the Minneapolis Fed also found is that people on the higher end are actually getting wage benefit from non-competes because they know, hey, if I got to sign this, right. that's going to create friction for me. So, hey, you got to pay me more, and then I've got a cushion if I leave and then want to go somewhere else. So, you know, so a big part of the problem is happening at the lower end. The question of whether the FTC should be doing this, I mean, we, we already know that they're going to get sued if they try right. to, to really pursue this. Chambers ideally, already out there saying they're going to. Yeah, ideally, ideally, right. legislation handles this sort of thing. But you know, Congress it's, getting things we done. We got to go, but Stern, looks, what do you think? We don't sign non-competes with junior people. I mean, the only people you sign non-competes with the people might steal your investors. You put them in front of your investors. You don't want to take your investors and start the right. firm with your investors. But what do you and think we of pay these, them for those But what do you think about these hospitals that are doing it to the nurses or, or no, these, they, uh, these they barber don't. shops or, or, or hair salons that are doing yeah, it I know to some uh, gyms in New York that sign up non-competes with their trainers. That's terrible.